Oh, hi there, Team Ozone. That awkward moment when you don't know if the recording from last time worked out properly or not. Whatever. We beat up Hollows. Don Kanonji took all the kills and all the experience except for the console stuff because he's a douche. Yep, that's how it goes. We're here. What is this place? This is Mr. Udahara's shop. You can relax now. You'll be safe here. Eh? Thank you. Hi, female spirit. Oh, it's you guys. I thought I heard somebody. Huh? Who are those two? It's Jinta, a red-headed person. Probably a gremlin. Ooh, you better go wake up the boss. Okay. A any day now. Oh my god, it's Uraha. I mean, it's not like they already mentioned that like 50 times. What the hell's wrong with this hat? It's like not aligned properly on the color. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> I was sound asleep. Captain Udahara? Uh, who are you? I, I, uh, I think I. Uh, I somewhere. Mm. Oh. Um, Ore Hime Uryu Chad. Don't you have school in the morning? You'd better go home and rest. But it you go in here yet? It's going to be done in a few hours. I think we should all go home. <clears throat> no, okay. <laughs> we can leave the rest to Mr. Udahara. Yeah, I guess you're right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. I've got her in the back. Jinta, get her settled in, you hear? Uh, why is the former captain person now uh, a mister? Yeah, that really is an incredible story. But you haven't changed a bit. You look like you look exactly like the last time I saw you. From my point of view, this is the evening of the day we fought Arturo. And you saw just what happened on the rescue of the spirit girl. So what? And you say you just happened to rescue that spirit girl sleeping in the other room? That's right. I mean, what do you suppose it all means? I'm not sure. I'll need more information from... Than what you're telling me. As you can see, I'm just a humble proprietor of, proprietor of a sweet shop now. I can't really say one way or another until I dig through some old data and research. I see. But gee, Captain Uda, you sure have changed. You don't even look like the same person. Me? Oh, well, we're talking about a lot of water under the bridge since then. So tell me, what happened to Lady Kanoka, Lord Sagan, and my sister after that? Sagan and your twin vanished along with Arturo. Fuck. Just like you did. No one's seen any of them since. Damn it. Oh, what about Lady Kanoka? Is she alright? You all fought a good battle that day. Eh? So you mean she won? No, I'm afraid Kanoka now arrested the Tsunami before you know plot. <laughs> that, he put that really fucking blunt, like, like, like really fucking blunt. What? No, but you just said we fought a good battle. By the time you all vanished, she was already gone. I'm partly to blame as well. I didn't fully understand how hard it would be for her. But without her, we couldn't have won that battle. She saved the soul society. Uh, I know that isn't any solace to you now, though. So it's really true. I'm sorry. No. I'm grateful for you telling me the truth. I'm glad we met again. That's enough for tonight, I think. You should get some rest. You must be exhausted. Yeah, I am. Hey, Urahara! Oops, I forgot all about that, Ichigo. 
Yeah, he forgot about it. Lady Kanoka's dead. 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 Oh my God. I think I got it out of my system. Lady Kanoka's dead. 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 Oh my God. Yeah. Okay, it's out of my system. So you two know each other, huh? Yeah, we knew each other a long time ago. Oh, not for very long. My name is Ray Kudo, it's nice to meet you. I'm Ichigo Kurosaki, I'm a substitute Soul Reaper. The fuck is But a Soul Reaper from the past, huh? What an unbelievable story. I mean, you'd think I'd be more badass or something, right? But I barely just have my Shikai. I can't quite believe it myself, actually. Me neither. So what are you gonna do now? Um... Oh, that's right. We have to think about our... Think about... What? We have you to think about, too, don't we? I can't decide a voice for Udahara. I'm sorry, it's freaking hard. Hey, what's this hole still doing here? How can you perform Kanto on her? You just tap your sword on the back... Well, you're the back of your sword on the forehead of that person. Never mind. I'll do it. Off you go. Back sword to the forehead gently. Oh. Huh? It didn't work? Let me try. I put the butt of my zombuck toe to her forehead and there. Huh? I guess this young lady isn't a hole after all. Eh? Can you tell us your name? Um, it's Shio. Shio, hmm? What's your last name? Um, my name is Shio. You don't know your last name. What do you remember from before your death? Nothing. Just my name. What does it mean, Udahara? Hmm, her soul seems to be in the same state as the residents of the Rukon District. So do you think she came from Rukon District? I doubt it. it's usually impossible for souls to travel from Rukon District into the human world. So, what's she doing here? That, I don't know. In any case, we'd better send her to the Soul Society. We can send Shio and Ray there at the same time. Okay, I'll leave it to you then. Well, Shio, it looks like you and I are going to be partners for the time being. Yes, it looks like it. By the way, you go. The sun's gonna be coming up pretty soon. Ah, oh, crap! I gotta get home and rest. See you guys later. Ha! Uh, he's gonna sleep in school. There he goes. It's gotta be pretty tough for him to juggle the life of a human and a sorcerer at the same time. Yupperino. That's a thing. Saving the game. I got, like, two levels out of that. I'm still pretty satisfied. <laughs> still kind of bullshit that, like, literally everything is gone. Like, oh, let's say this. In the fight against Arturo, Captain says, Nami disappeared, Matsuri disappeared, I disappeared, and then on top of that, Lady Kanoka died. It was pretty fucking dumb, but... It's basically like, hey, we're gonna build this great, you know, story, development, character. We got all these great characters, and now they're gone. It's kind of a major kick in the nuts. Whatever. Yeah, good morning, Mr. Uh, phew, I'm still sleepy. You always did have a hard time waking up in the morning, or so I heard. Uh, you hardly wake up all Sunshine and Rose did yourself, boss. I'm not doing a voice for Jinta. He's literally here for like two seconds. Good morning. Morning, Chio. Do you feel a little more settled in now? Well, I was able to sleep, but I don't feel settled, I guess. Ray, Chio, can I borrow you for two for a second? Sure, what is it? Mm, what is this? It's your Giga, a temporary body for you to use as long as you're in the human world. As long as you have this, you can operate just like human here. These Giga are still under development. I thought I'd have you to test them out. Uh, clothes in this era sure are strange. I don't feel very comfortable. Well, nobody walks around wearing kimonos anywhere anymore, I'm afraid. 
But, like, these clothes really give me a sense of just how much time has passed. I mean, I'm from the Samurai era. We got Samurai Jack, and I, I don't know. <laughs> I picked that outfit out myself, by the way. And now for your Gashio. Let's see. Can I choose my own clothes? I want clothes just like Jean does. I really love his outfit. Oh my god, you have a terrible sense of fashion. Uh, you, you do? Terrible sense of fashion. You're quite a character there, Shio. Oh, okay, I chose this on the bottom screen. I was like, what, what the fuck is that? Oh, sweet, dude, that's an awesome background. Hey, I gotta render that out as like an awesome background. Like, get rid of any of the anti-aliasing needing crap. And what the hell does it say on Shio's shirt? In Japanese, of course, because I can't read Japanese. Alright, let's see. Look at me. Red shirt. I keep my cool thing from Lady Kanoka. Awesome. I got pants. Shio in short shorts and a shirt that barely fits. I mean, it fits, but... Yeah. And I don't know what it means, but I love the mysterious writing of this here shirt. Uh, that mysterious writing is the name of the shop, actually. She can't read. She can't read because this this is Japanese. The game they all speak. They know the Japanese is, is so they should know that. Whatever. So does this key guy have any special powers or anything? No, I was going for more of a dependable and safe key guy. Dependable and safe is good. Dependable and safe is good. You know, I'd rather not be a walking nuke. Well, now that you have your Giga, why don't you two take around and see the sights? It sounds nice, but I think I'd get lost. Not to worry, I found you the perfect guy. I wonder who the perfect guy I found the boss. Hey, Tessai, what's up? Thank you, Tessai, let's leave the rest to him. Alright, now be good. Oh, fuck. Eh, I know where this is going. Alright, pause. Everybody look at me. Okay, I'm awesome. Then look at Sh uh, Ki uh, Shio, right? And then look at her chest. And now Khan. Who the heck are you two? I can move and talk? Hmm? Yep, yep, exactly. Exactly what I. Yep, pre pre I predicted this beyond. Pre I, I am psychic tell you what literally just oh I knew this would happen ah uh, Khan don't make me get myself back out on you buddy I will soul reap the shit out of you bud modest to the untrained eye but in fact quite generous unexplored regions hidden behind white cloth here I go off to the forbidden paradise yeah please somebody kick him in the nose oh, eek it's pouncing Look out! Oh, I hit him! I hit him! I sent him flying! There he goes! Yes! This is great. So, for anybody not watching, so it's like he jumped at Shio, and I'm like, oh god, it's a wild animal attacking! Just like hit it, and she goes flying. He's like, ah, T Mac is flying off again! Oh, come on now, you don't think you could have held back just a little? No. A strange object came flying at us all of a sudden. I react without thinking. Sorry about that, but not sorry at all. Strange? Are you referring to me? Yes. But it is strange, don't you think? Ch Shio? Chio? Who is Chio? Shio. Hmm, kind of. Hey, what do you mean, kind of? It's kind of plain. Definitely lacking a certain oomph. Shio, you are the weirdest mother. The, the weird peoples is everywhere. Uh, I'm not talking about the way it looks, fat, it's moving, talking, don't you think that's kind of weird? Oh, is that what you meant? No, not especially. Uh, oh, that you're fine with, eh? Oh well, whatever, my gentle nature and kindness towards beautiful young ladies is part of my charm. Con, in a fire. In a fire. Okay, I'll show you around, just tell me where you want to go. Oh sweet, plotting time! I don't know anything about this era, so I don't really know. Is that so? Then let's just get started with a little walk, shall we? Alright. Lead the way. Fine, let's go then. Why does I get the feelings he's be plotting something that's not rather nice? 
plot time, yeah, with Khan in the real world, yeah, everybody's weird, I don't know any of these people, save stuff, okay, so a new life, that'd be a four pointer, right, that'd be, I wouldn't get the discount or the item, and I need a one pointer, so I gotta actually talk to friggin' Jinto over here, I'll do that, right now I need a three pointer, so we gotta go talk to Ichigao, and get the discount, and, oh wait, with the Ichigo thing, we can talk to the Quincy's, <laughs> Quincy's, Okay, or maybe one, two, Jean to go. No, friggin' I don't like Jean to. I'm gonna go talk to Day and Ichigo's life. Yeah, I, I hate the lack of options, but whatever. Three pointer. Here we go. Mm, 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 mm. <sighs> What's up, Chad? Somebody's watching, or is it just my imagination? Probably your imagination. Forget about it. Come on, let's head on over to Okonomiyaki shop. Hold on. Oh, I got it. Hold on. Okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki shop. Fuck, what is that? What does that mean? Okonomiyaki. That's probably like squid or something. I don't know. Okay. <sighs> See, that's Ichigo and Chad. The big one's Chad. Yes, Shio. The big one is Chad. <laughs> I learned Ichigo's name yesterday, so I know him. Oh, yeah? What's Chad like? Quiet, strong, that's it. That was easy. The two of them are very close. They're always hanging out together. By the way, why are we hiding like this? Yeah, since we're using Giga, can't we just talk to them? No, it's too risky with Chad. You're risky? For some reason, the guy chases me whenever he sees me. Uh, I'd hate to think what he'd do if he caught me. I'm dizzy at the thought. It didn't occur to you he might like stuffed animals, you know? Having a massive guy who doesn't talk, doesn't talk hot on your trail is more terrifying than you can imagine. So let's see, giant guy doesn't talk at all, chasing. Oh, that's actually kind of scary. Especially when you're so little. I wonder if it's anything like having a Manos Grande after you. Oh god! Oh my god! That's actually the perfect thing for Chad. He's just a Manos Grande. He doesn't talk, he just goes boom, smash. <laughs> oh, that was so perfect now that I think he, he's a Manos Grande. He doesn't talk, he just booms. Oh, wow. Hey, everything got down by one, so now we can go talk to the Quancy. The Quancy boy. Quancy boy. Quancy boy. Quancy boy. Quancy. I'm, I'm so annoying. We're in the suburbs. Hey, isn't that Ryu over there? Ryu? Oh, the guy from yesterday? Huh, what are you up to? That looks like a gee guy. Is it one of Mr. Udahara's? For a guy with glasses, you have some very good eyes. I am Uryu Ishida, the last Quincy. <coughs> oh shit! Sorry, just, you know, spoilers. Uh, what's a Quincy? A human that possesses the power to destroy hollows. That's the first I heard of it. I never knew such humans existed. Soul Reapers are better off not knowing much about us. Oh, is, is that right? <laughs> Say, what's in the shopping bag? Oh, this? It's fabric to make clothing for stuffed animals. Materials to make clothes? I'm quite good with handcrafts. Um, so you could make clothes for Khan? For me? Sure, that'd be easy. Then would you make him a shirt that matches the one that says Mr. Udahara shop? <laughs> Don't bother! Sure thing, but I don't think you could get a t-shirt around here for that fat belly, so I'll make an apron instead. Ha 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 ha! He called Khan fat! Oh, this is good. Anyone who disses Khan is a friend of mine. Who do you put it there? You walked away, you little fucking fuck you, Khan. You freaking Quincy person. I don't know anything. Two healing bombs, cool. And now the stuff in the plots are pretty useless now. Uh, the master or a new life? 
personally, I would go for one of the ma either or he made the friends or the master, right? And then I would go for this one because that way you get the most plot out of this. So let's go for the master, then or he may. You go for or he may's one, just because I might use her as my medic. This time period has all sorts of interesting things to offer, doesn't it? Yeah, nobody's wearing kimonos and there's not a horse in sight. Horses? Why? <gasps> Hold it, I sense. Cuddles! Oh god. Cuddles? Up past the corner. Oh yeah, and I have to buy potato and sugar too? Bingo, now begins the master plan to attack. Hmm? This angle, this timing, it's perfect. Okay, here goes. He jumped at her. With the intention of being smacked away. Yes! Orihime! One of Orihime's friends showed up and beat, like, Sucker Punch Kana, and now Team Rocket's blasting off again. Whoa! Today's the day! Oh, she got Sucker Punch too! It's Tatsuki! Give it a rest, Chizuru. Tatsuki! Yeah, like a girl. You took one of my best punches? Don't underestimate the intensity of my determination. I mean, hitting it like a girl's not a bad thing. She is a girl. Derp. What did she mean the intensity of my determination? Beats me. I'm too old school for this shit. Dang it, I'm not giving up. I shall reach the mountaintop. I shall not be defeated by the evil devices of my enemy. What the f... Does that also qualify as intensity of determination? Beats me! So many new things in the world that I don't understand. Huh. Bada ba boom, bada ba bum boom, bada dun dun dun. You could literally do the Jinta thing and then still have enough time to do the other stuff. It's just I don't really like Jinta, but you know why? I'ma do it! I'ma do it! Well, let's decide who's going to clean, do the cleaning. Okay, rock, paper, scissors. No way, I want baseball. That'll take too long. So what? Ow, no more noogies, please. So basically, Jinta is a douche who gives noogies all the time, and Uru, or Uru is the wimp. You gotta clean up soon, or Tessai's gonna get mad. Tessai is the big black guy who helps around with Uruhara's shoppu. Huh? There he's Tessai! Who cares about Tessai? Uh -huh. You said something, Jinta. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, Uryu, it's cleaning time. Stop giving it off. Wait up, Jinta. I don't know the relation between those two. Good. Dilig diligence is everything. Tessai is really smart. That's all I know about him. See that? That pretty much illustrates the pecking order at the Udahara shop. Wow, who's higher? Uryu? Uru? Or... Ururu or Jinta? My guess is Jinta. Only because he's an idiot. He probably gets punished regularly for the privilege. <laughs> <laughs> Only because he's an idiot. He probably gets punished regularly for the privilege of being an idiot. <laughs> oh my god, the writing in this game is not top tier. I'll give it that much. But it, it's entertaining me, so that's something. It's punished regularly for being a dumbass. Alright, let's see what Urahara is up to, or the master. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, a new life it is. Hmm. Mr. Urahara? We're back! Oh, back so soon? We felt like the tail can use some more. I haven't asked about how you're doing here yet, or why you're here. Ah, uh, it's just a simple job change. A simple job change from captain to 13 core god squad? Sure, why not? I suppose it isn't all that strange for you, Mr. Udahara. Doing work that suits you is what really matters, right, Shio? I think you'd make an outstanding shopkeeper. And the hat and clogs are a perfect touch. 
You have impeccable taste, Shio, my dear. He's what the fuck? When I open my own shop, I'm gonna get a hat and clogs too. Uh, I'd rethink that if I were you. The business is pretty easy to run, and I have the freedom to work on my inventions. Freedom? <laughs> yeah, and you have the freedom to do what you want here too. Why don't you go out and enjoy the day? Thanks. Yeah, he did mention that a while back. Or a while, a while back. Hey, how long you got to keep plan on keeping me here waiting? Sorry, Colin. Let's go back on the str Actually, no, because this is literally the end of it. So, yeah. Question of the day is... I... Uh... What do you think about Khan? I mean, I'm sure his heart's in the right place, but apparently his dick's not. Literally, he's freaking just trying to grope everybody. Hide your kids, hide your wife. Khan's out here groping them all with a knife. That's terrible. Anyways, that about wraps up for today. I know we didn't really see much action in terms of battle today, but we are pretty much just getting adjusted to life. Hundreds of years after. Without anybody. God damn it. I'll catch you guys next time. Remember to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you already haven't. Bye!